Today, the Commission adopted a decision sanctioning Microsoft for its failure to comply with the legally binding commitments which it made to the Commission. The decision adopted today imposes a fine of 561 million euros on Microsoft for this very serious infringement. As you may recall, in December 2009, the Commission made legally binding on Microsoft the commitments offered by the company. As of March 2010, Microsoft was therefore obliged to display until 2014 a choice screen enabling users of Windows in the EU to easily choose their preferred web browser. Although Microsoft did make the choice screen available in March 2010, as agreed, the choice screen was not rolled out as required following the launch of Windows 7 Service Pack 1 in May 2011. As a consequence, during more than one year, exactly during 14 months, until July 2012, around 15 million users, more exactly 15.3 million users, did not see the choice screen as they should have. Microsoft has acknowledged that it did not comply with, with its own commitments. Immediately after I received information about this fact through a, a complaint, I ordered to reopen proceedings, and in October last year, a statement of objections was adopted to which Microsoft replied in December. Following an in-depth investigation and taking into account Microsoft's reply to our objections, today's decision finds that Microsoft has indeed breached its legally binding commitments. Such a breach is, of course, very serious, irrespective of whether it was intentional or not, and it calls for a sanction. The Commission has therefore imposed a fine as foreseen in our antitrust regulation. This is the first time that the Commission has found the breach of legally binding commitments enshrined in an Article 9 decision in antitrust. In setting the level of the fine, the Commission took into account the gravity and the duration of the infringement as well as the need to ensure that the sanction is sufficiently deterrent. 